Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So in this video I'll try to show you how you can save the money by replacing the garbage disposal by yourself. Not only you can do it by yourself, easy. Also I will do a review of my new garbage disposal. Uh, when I uh, open my under sink cabinet there was a lot of fluid water and I didn't know what's happened. Then I realized it was leaking from the knees because it got rusted and I didn't use it much. But the problem is after a certain time, if you don't use it often or if you are not using it correctly, this type of uh, garbage disposal start to rust inside and the water start to drip from all these holes. Okay, then you cannot really fix it. It's much easier to replace it. And first when I saw it, I was I was thinking to call plumber, but then I realized I can do it myself. And uh, the disclaimer is that I never replaced it before, and I'm not professional. I just did it the first time, and I didn't plan to record the video, but I decided to share you my experience, and I'll show you some steps which might help you. So if you have this uh, type of uh, garbage disposal you can replace for a few reasons one of the reasons if it stopped working or if it's uh, dripping from uh, underneath the water and or oh, it's very loud because this one was very loud and also another reason uh, a lot of spoons and like uh, dropped inside and got damaged so the one I replaced with it was uh, from American standard so when i saw the water starting to drip underneath i went to casco and i get one they have it like for 99 dollars like 100 dollars the red color this one and i didn't do much research because i didn't have much time so instead of going to home depot i went to casco my favorite store so i bought it there was no sale I got it for $100, came home, and my idea was to replace everything. But after checking this out, it looks like it was universal mount. It's a three-way, I'm not sure what the name for it, but it's universal. So it can fit basically to any other one, doesn't matter which brand, most likely. So American standard fit very well, so I didn't have to replace this piece. Like I didn't, repl I didn't have to replace uh, in the sink anything. I was just removing the old one and putting the new one. And I'll show you how I did it. Also, I'll show you at the end of this video review because after I got it, I started to read the review on Casca website and I saw a lot of people complain that this kind of uh, garbage disposal do kind of overflow out of uh, water and it's not good. And I was kind of um, worried once I installed, I read review afterwards. So I want to do review from my own experience and show you it's not really truth. It's not really as bad as um, reviewer. Actually, it works much better. It's much quieter and it um, works just as great. Also, it comes with a future magnet where it uh, protect you garbage disposal from getting small metal things inside so it works for real good I'll show you at the end of the video as well so let me get to show you how easy to install it okay and I'll show you some tips so here's what I did so I attached this uh, rubber sleeve to a uh, housing outlet then slide the metal gasket and screw over the rubber sleeve Tighten up with these two screw. Next step, insert the elbow into the rubber sleeve and slip the spring sl clamp over and squeeze this uh, with your fingers. Position the spring clamp over the rubber sleeve and secure it. And that's how it will look. Next step is to uh, knock out the entire plug from this area. This inside, you need to get some uh, uh, blunt instrument to remove it and as i said before i tried to do it easy way so i did not replace the sink flange 
uh, which uh, looked good to me. It was all good. There was no leak, so I, there was no reason for replacing it. And if you decide to replace the sink plunge, uh, basically everything, then you would need to get this plumber's party to do the job. Replace only this part, but I didn't uh, replace any mounting. Uh, because it was good, there was no leaking, it was good, I didn't see any reason I need to remove it and spend extra time on it. I did put the, the magnetic belt over here and this clip over here, it's very simple and I heard some people say it does not fit, but actually it fits really nice and perfectly on my old one and so far it's good. In order to remove it or put it back, you just put screwdriver and turn it to the left to remove it, to the right it would be locking in. So it's very simple. And reset button over here, so if you need to reset it, you just reset it. And uh, let's see if it works. So I'm gonna just plug it in, the cable, and try to use this. And uh, that's how it looks from outside. And the splash guard actually fit very well, that's why I didn't replace it. I just press it and it fits perfectly. As you can see, there's no problem at all, and everything looks good. Uh, I like the old one because it tells me that it's food waste dispenser for people who doesn't know when they come, so they know it's for food dispenser. And um, you can uh, use the same clothing and it fits perfectly. And it's very quiet actually, very nice so far. And I heard many people complain that this piece is so tight inside, so there is water get overflowed. The old one I have with a big hole, but the tools, the spoons, the forks always drop in, my wife always damage them, and it's very scary. So let's see what's gonna happen if she drops spoon over here, usually teaspoon. It will drop as well, so it will not protect, but I can see the magnet will catch. As you can see the magnet on the side, it hold it. And let's try again. So if I want, okay, so accidentally it will hold it. Uh, when it's growing here, it's just going deep inside and then it got damaged. So it works. The magnet actually works pretty well. and great solution also your hand cannot get in that easy with this one it's very easy to get in so it's kind of most dangerous mostly for the kids um again it's very dangerous piece for the kids but i like the new one uh it's quieter and it's about twice as powerful as one it's about yeah almost one and a half more power in it, American standard. Many people complain about this part get overflowed when I use the water, so let's see what's gonna happen. So far so good. I don't see any overflow, no problem at all. No problem at all. If you guys want to see why it's leaking inside, please uh, click subscribe. I'm going to make another video maybe, I'm going to open it and see what exactly happened to this piece of garbage dispenser. American Standard have 12 years warranty and lifetime warranty on the rusting, so I think the problem happened with this piece inside the metal start rusted and corrosion get so deep that water start to leak through, that's problem. Also, I notice it's much smarter design, better design, slimmer, takes less space. So, so far, so good. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and see my next video. See you later.